Hello there, fellow space captains. It's Connor, and welcome to a Dreadnought ship overview. The first, so uh, I decided to take a look at one of the heroic ships, or hero ships as they're called, and it's the Huskar version of the Gora Destroyer, which is the most heavily armored destroyer in the game, but also the slowest. Uh, there are all two other destroyers in the game. I'm just going to show you them right now, and you can see for yourself. So, Gora here, you can see it's heavily armored. It's all about damage reduction. Then we have the Athos, which is the middling one, the uh, faster, less heavily armored one. But then we get to the last, which is the Talion Ace, or Talionus, Talionus, whatever the fuck you call it. Uh, this thing, it's the fastest, but the lightest as well. It's got the lightest armor on it. Or the least armor on it, depending on which way you want to look at it. So, yes, it's a very heavily armored ship, and it's very, very nice. Definitely my, definitely my, uh, definitely my play style is what I'm trying to say. I'm getting excited here, getting ahead of myself. I really just want to get this thing back into battle and tear some noobs and you. So, yes, I did get my ships that I was owed. I bought the mercenary pack. I didn't get any of the ships. It was a bug, but Greybox being awesome got back to me pretty damn quickly. Right, so here we are. Now, there might be some different loadouts here on this ship, some different modules, some different passives, than on the default Gora, and that's because, well, this thing can't be customized. I can't, let's say, I change it the flak turrets for some beam cannons or something. I can't. Or change the Tempest missiles for a nuke. It's just not the way it works. This is all I can work with here. And although that might sound crappy to you, look, I am level 9 currently, but I did play quite a bit in the Alpha got wiped. You can see that I've got a rank 34 unlock here, which is the weapon amplifier, which is sweet and sexy, and I love it. Whew. As well as the weapon booster, which is for level 26, level 27, level 30, level 24, level 42. So you can see it's nice. I get some uh, nice toys to play with. So visually, let's take a look at the ship. It's pretty cool. I like the bridge. I like the bridge quite a lot. It's very smooth and rounded a ship hmm i mean personally let me show you my favorite destroyer in the game and this one's not too bad i do like it but my favorite destroyer in the game is definitely the middle of the road one the athos this is the athos here i just think it looks pretty damn cool uh, as well as just handles well as well for me but i mean the gora isn't a bad Destroyer at all. I mean, the Huskar, as this one's called, isn't a bad cruiser or destroyer. In fact, it's very, very good. I've had a few games in it so far. It really doesn't take long to get used to these ships in this game. If you played the Gora, then once you get this thing, yeah, you know how to play it. But let's have a look at the weapon loadout anyway. So, ballistic cannons. Ballistic cannons offer moderate rates of fire and damage against medium range targets. So, the range is uh, not too bad. The damage is. Okay, I mean, the rate of fire is where this thing really shines. And the rate of fire is quite good, as you can just see there. Clip size is 30, moderate reload time, which is usually the way with all things. And, you know, I've seen a, a trend here for the reload time and the damage falloff. They always seem to be moderate, so I haven't really seen too much of a change there. I mean, on the other flak turrets I've seen, usually the damage falloff is moderate as well. So that's the only one I've seen that has none. But yes, these weapons are nice. The best way to show you them is in-game, but they're hard-hitting when in, uh, combined with the weapon amplifier as well as powered weapons. Although I'm not sure how much time you get out of uh, powered weapons whenever you have this thing engaged. Usually they drain your energy quite quickly, seeing how it could be a little bit overpowering. And a little bit overpowered generally, so yeah. Flak turrets, uh, flak turrets excel in close-range suppression duty, firing high-explosive shells that deal area of effect damage. So the range is crap. The damage is nice, the fire rate is uh, middle of the road again, and the clip size is 4, so it's doom, 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 doom. Reload, doom, 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 doom. Reload, doom, 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 doom. And that's pretty much how this thing works. There are other flak guns in the game that get like clip sizes of 30 and stuff, but these ones are quite powerful, so that's why the clip size is so small. And that's uh, a little Corvette, a little sneaky bastard decides to sneak up behind you and be like, Oh, I'm just going to drop my mains on top of you. I'm going to fire my, my missiles or torpedoes into your ass. Then I'm going to just kill you in a burst of fucking hell damage. In a hail of fire. And then you explode and then I fly off into the sunset super fast because I'm a Corvette. I look sexy when I'm flying super fast. Not going to happen, little fella. 
I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with the, uh, to begin with, with the plastic cannons, whenever I power my shields up, you'll just die. But with the flak turrets, it uh, happens even freaking faster. It's so glorious. So yes, they're nice to have. Uh, next we have Tempest Missiles, which uh, I think you start off with by default on the Gora anyway. On activation, the Jupiter Arms module fires a flurry of missiles at the object of your aggression for a short duration. Designed by an unknown weapons developer, the majority of these missile systems are now sold by Jupiter Arms. See uh, all these weapons in the game, they don't really seem to be designed by anybody or, well, an unknown developer. You'd think they wouldn't keep better records, wouldn't they, in the future? But anyway, yeah, light missiles, range of 7,000 meters, so that's, that's not too bad, actually, 7,000 meters, with a cooldown of 45 seconds, so, yeah, unexpected cooldown for something like this. I mean, if you've played Fractured Space, which I have, and a lot of you have, then, you know, this cooldown is, it's usual for missiles, it's the norm, something around this. Next, we have the Weapon Breaker Missile. I wonder what this does, and it's, oh, well, way up there at level 46. And that's four levels away from max level, so these must be special. This module launches a missile that reduces the damage I put of the targeted enemy ship. The weapon breaker is a result of a challenge that House Oberon engineers set themselves to repurpose tech used in their drain pulse generators, with the aim of uh, creating a targeted missile with the ability to drain power from a specific system. And they succeeded with flying colors. So, I mean, all we really needed to hear was this module launches a missile which reduces the damage output of the targeted enemy ship. But it's nice to give us a little bit of extra storyline and lore to add a bit of flair. Uh, the damage is crap, but there are quite a few of them. And the range is 14,000 meters, so they're quite long range. And the cooldown is 35 seconds, so they're not too bad. And they decrease weapon damage. Or, well, sorry, there's not quite a few of them. I was thinking back to the Tempest missiles here. So, uh, I believe there's two of them or something. I'm not too sure. But yeah, they reduce the weapon damage of the enemy fired upon, which is nice. It means that you have a... You have uh, they have a handicap, whereas you don't. You can just engage weapon pl amplifier, and if you're going one v one, then you can just tear the guy apart. Next, we have the weapon booster pulse, so it's uh, kind of a supporting role as well in this regard. This weapon continuously sends out pulses that boost the destructive power of your ships and your nearby allies' weapons. A pulse generator reverse engineered from the transhuman technology by High Superon, it will drastically increase the effectiveness of the weapon system for all allies within the radius. This version is specially fitted for a destroyer class missile. Of course it is. So it boosts weapon damage. Boosts weapon damage. Reduces enemy weapon damage. <laughs> you can see what this thing's all about. Uh, so yeah, 12,000 meter radius. Last 15 seconds, go down to 30 seconds. So it's, that's nice. In this game, where you're more clumped up than you are in a game like Fractured Space, which is its direct competitor, I would say. It's the most similar game to this would be Fractured Space. In this game, you're more likely to clump up in a big ball and move forward rather than Fractured Space, where you're more likely to spread out and outmaneuver the enemy. Uh, because in that game, you have speed, where in this one, you really don't have that. So yeah, it is nice to have a bit of a boost there to your allies' weapon power as well as your own. Right on to the passives. passives. Now, I'm not really going to read out their descriptions because, well, what's the point? It's, it's just a passive. So, it gives you the trigger, which is a module finishes cooldown, which is one of these. And it has the effect of giving you 0 0.3 energy per second of the module's total cooldown time. So, it's nice. Uh, you know, I had to read out the description because it says crazy there and I'm wondering what it's saying. Those crazy module modifications he made. Well, this thing, they were, whatever. Next we have Destruction Cascade, destroy an enemy, increases your weapon damage for uh, plus 30% for 10 seconds. Awesome. Nerves of Steel, uh, its uh, trigger is, or its active condition is set, energy set to engines, so all power to engines, number one. That type of thing. Boosts speed when hit, damage taken reduced by a small amount. I mean, these are all nice, I like having little passives here and there and being able to switch them out, although, again, with the house Carl and hero ships, you can't do such a thing, switch them out. Next is a passive. The effect boosts health regeneration, reduces energy regeneration, which can be a problem, but, you know, I'm fine with the health. This thing is the most heavily armed, or heavily armoured, not heavily armed. It is quite heavily armed, but it's the most heavily armed destroyer in the game. Not as big as the Dreadnoughts, or heavily armoured as some of the Dreadnoughts, but it's still respectable in that regard. But, you know, having some extra health regeneration is not too bad. So there we go. That is the Gora, or the Hoose Coddle. Heavily modified Gora Destroyer. 
How about we bring it into the game? Hmm? How about we bring it into some action and tour some... Seems the right place to be if you're looking for a job. He sees the obvious a lot, that guy. I'm not really sure I like him. So I've increased the gamma. Just because it's a little hard to see sometimes, especially ships in the hangar. Sometimes YouTube has a way of darkening video quality. So, yeah. So if it's a little bit brighter than yours, that's why. I just wanted you guys to be able to see things. I mean... Oh, here we go. Rigs of Saturn. Goody. The only map in the game that's in space. Right, so... Here we go. That's not the ship I was on, but we'll switch to it in G-Tang. Right, so here we go. Select ship. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Good stuff. So it's... The only three of us so far. It doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter. There's five of them there. Great. Oh, I have four now. Awesome. So this guy's in the Invictus. Over on Class Dreadnought. This guy's in a pink little... Uh, Aeon Tactical Cruiser. Oh, well, isn't he so adorable? And being killed by this thing, it just makes you feel bad. And we have a fella here. Who is this fella? Dead Mask in the Gora. Oh, we have a little bumblebee here. A little Corvette, which is annoying. I mean, I love playing Corvettes, but they are a little bit overpowered right now. When I say a little bit, I mean a lot. No ship, mate. I mean, that's the entire goal of the game. Kill enemy ships! And then you yeah, join a game where you know you have to kill enemy ships. The objective is to kill enemy ships! I would have been fucking more impressive. He says, go and capture that area and hold it. Defend against all these waves of enemy smaller frigates and Corvette class. Until reinforcements arrives and a massive fleet jumps in. You're all turning the crap out of each other. And there was a little... Yeah, there you are. The ACM. Thinks I don't. Whoa, whoa. Getting taken fire from that sniper. Firing missiles. Missiles out. And they'll make their way to him. And if I lose track of him, then they'll make their way to his last known location. And what's that guy doing? Schnopplon. Schnopplon. What's that guy? He just went to his death. Why would you do that? Alright, so waiting for our energy to regen. Good stuff. I got a kill. Those missiles must have ended him there off pretty quickly. Well, he got out of there. So he did the damage. My missiles finished the sniper off. Good stuff. Where's that going? Now, if I had my biggest complaint in this game, there's two of them. Strafing is one. The other one is the zoom or the uh, scope, which doesn't exist actually. Watch this, the little enemy fighter. Take him out. Got suppression points. Who's that there? What are you, what are you doing, dude? Fly missiles. Power to weapons. Weapon amplifier. Look at the damage. Look at them just drop. We put power to shields. Let's take them things down. Turn our... Hmm. Curious as to be what I'm being shot by. Just some fighters, I think. There he goes, he's going down. Right, he's dead. There we go. Now we fired up from a Corvette. Great. Oh, there we go. I was bound hopping anyway. So yeah, if I was full health there, he wouldn't have stood a chance. He just sat there. He should be really manoeuvring. On trying to outmaneuver me, which is a larger, slower ship. I mean, it's the slowest destroyer in the game. You need brains, guys. Brains. Use them. You were given them at birth. Some of you, anyway. Stuck back in again here. Alright, so the games really don't last as long on this one, so... We'll see. Right, another Gora. Where are my guys? We're all kind of split up at the moment. Which I'm not liking. Oh, hello.
Check powers out of weapons. Get our shields up because we're going to need them. Power the shields. He's going down again. Guys in my way. Get out of the way. Damn it, dude. Dead mask. Fuck you, dude. I did all that damage. Oh, sweet Jeebus. There's that damn fucking wee shit again. Damn it, see that guy. It'd be nice to be able to talk. Can I talk yet? No, we can't talk yet. Why would you even disable chat, Greybox? What the fuck? Oh, we don't want people being too uh, salty at the moment, being too toxic. You know, the game's just out in the open, uh, closed beta. Sorry, I almost stayed open there for a second. Got him. New rank 10, awesome. Awesome sauce, what's that over there? Sniper of some degree. Let's go Sfarog. There he is again, look at him. He's a derper. Get out of here, guy, get out of here. Look at him, look at how fast he dies whenever he does come on the fire. It's embarrassing, dude. Catch yourself on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Taking heavy fire from something. Well, where am I taking fire from? Oh, hello. Yeah, we're just being surrounded here and picked off one by one. Yep. <sighs> Great. Four kills, three deaths. Great. I score my team, though, by quite a margin, though. They almost be just fapping into a sock or something at this point. I mean, it's that guy in the poor bat doing? Sergeant Wayne, what's he doing? Like, says game. Definitely not this one. Like, uh, oh, I thought he was going to be an enemy. Red Dead Mask, where are you in the scoreboard now? Let's stick. We'll stick with the little Corvette, I think. I mean, no offense to you, yet, but uh, yeah, well, offense intended. You fair not? Maybe, maybe you want to fall back. See what it did there. Because you're really close to the enemy. And you're just still just sitting there. Maybe it was too much for him to handle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, enemy sniper behind us as well. I wish I could really strafe. I really do. And know what I'm doing here is I'm trying to... Or I'm waiting for them missiles to get closer and then I'll just go like this. Yeah, my team is full of lemons, I suppose. Yeah, I don't blame the team. The enemy team's just better. You know, all of their nonsense. Well, bullshit. Team's full of lemons. And you're gonna die, even though my team's just sitting there looking at you. You're gonna die. They're gonna die! There's that little fuck again. Oh, if I had hit him with my other two flax, he would have been dead once those missiles hit him. Come on, missiles, do your job. Yes! 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 Fuck yeah! Wait, that's my team, mate, is it not? Is it? I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. We are winning, but it's a bit of a clusterfuck. Now, seeing how it's uh, only, like, I don't know, five, ten minutes of game in this year, we'll have a couple of games. How do you, how about that? Hmm? How about that? Oh, yes. I treat you as well. What's she saying? Not as good. Not as good. Lock is good. I have no idea what she's saying. I'll have to read the text next time. Oh, hello. He's taking a bit of a bat down, so he is. So you'll notice across her, it turns from blue to yellow. 
that means it's you know an adequate lock or well, not really a lock adequate shot it's not going to do as much damage but to do the most possible damage for these weapons and to be at their optimal range it has to turn red and i'm not quite there yet at the top of the map again good damage for a space game there's very little space what's he jumping to Dude, would you bugger off i don't want nothing to do with you Finally! Is he jumping to up here? What's this? Where'd he go? Ah, you guys lost! Sucks to be! Is that a hangar bear? Oh, it is, he has hangar bears attached to his uh, Invictus, that's pretty cool. I really do want to get myself some fighters or bombers. There we go, top of the freaking team, of course. I was in the Alpha! Back in them days, Dread Destroyer sucked. Yeah, they didn't really. But I'll just say that it anyway, so I can make myself feel better for the win. For the win. Awesome sauce. Right, so let's get back to the outpost and return to the game. Oh, yes, let's do it. So, if you get. If you do get. Oh, shut up, dude. If you do get to the Gora. The normal Gore class destroyer. You do get the same unlocks here for it. Then you can pretty much. It's the same thing. Only this one's visually different. I do wish you could change the paint scheme. Wouldn't really so much change anything else about it. But the paint scheme. Yeah. I would like to change it. Why is it this damn thing again? I mean. I'm happy about my Bumblebee Gore destroyer. I call, I'm going to call it the Queen Bee. Because. Look at the size of it. The size of her. It makes sense. Because. Uh, ships are always. Called her because, or she because they're considered female for some reason, even though they don't have a vagina. Then again, they don't have a penis either. But yes, the Queen Bee. It's, it's a funny pun there. It's uh, quite a clever pun as well. High school, let's go. I think that's Saturn there. That's not Saturn, Connor. What are you talking about? Saturn has a ring, you gob shit. That is, uh. Think of a planet, think of a planet. What is it? I, I do know the name of it. Mercury? Maybe? I have no idea. Complete Egypt. Here we go. Right, these guys are... Oh, that guy has... The Morning Star. Smey class Dreadnought. Cool. My least favorite map. Here we go. Let's get this thing shifting. Just keep on... Floating. Never question why this thing's able to, to fly or just hover there without any thrusters running. Never question that. You'll just drive yourself insane. Target locked. Lock is good. Weapon tanks. Lock is good. Oh, Weapon breaker Hello there, nurse. Watch out for see days. Oh, he's out of range of the black. God damn it. Oh, he's dead anyway. Because it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Oh, I am so dead. I pushed forward a little bit too quickly there. I'm too forward. I delve too deep. I delve too deep. And I paid for it. Now, there's something that I really never even caught on to in this. And I only noticed it yesterday. And I have played the alpha. And, you know, the alpha could have been an excuse for it and whatnot. But... There's no battle damage. In 2016. There's no battle damage. What the fuck? That should be... You shouldn't even have to think about putting that under your game in this day and age. They all just stay spick span and brand new. Even though... They've just had a nuke fired at them. And had it land and had it deal damage. So you can see the actual power of these things once you do get firing. Where'd he go? He's over here. Sniper gob shit's firing at me again. Don't like that. Alright, he's going down. 
Three, two, one. Dead. That's what he gets. You don't mess with the horse cattle. Jesus, guy, are you in love with me or something? I mean, there's a big guy there and he just goes for me. Sweet Jeebus. Bomb catapult, I think. They're nasty. Drop off the shields. We need to just get our hull replenished. Well, they're coming around this end. Turn around. So you can just see it's slow. I mean, very slow. I need to reload. So I believe the clip said it carried 30 or something, but you can see it carries 128. Or it, or am I just remembering it wrong? I'm pretty sure it didn't say it actually carried that much. Who's this guy? Oh, he's there. What's this here damage? How fast he's going down, look at that. Look at that. Premium damage. This ship is strong like bear. Very, very strong bear. It kills with it sees, it touches, it destroys. Is that a rock or something, doesn't it? Whatever he touches, he destroys. <laughs> because he is big, yes? He takes steroids. Right, come on. Keep her shifting, boy. Power to engines. All ahead full, number one. I would like to be able to, whenever you name, rename a ship, it actually appears on the side. That'd be pretty cool, but it's early days yet. Oh, jeez, I'm getting fired up by something. Getting fired up from something, sorry. Bad English, bad grammar. Any warheads can fuck off, they're not doing well today. Whoa, that was close. So we are royally kicking their asses. Got an enemy contact. Where? Do you think? Die, fighters! Sir, they were friendly. Not in my book, they weren't. They were worse than neutral. Jet power to shields. Weapon up fire. Let's do this. Guy's probably kicking himself. But my ship is bigger, that shouldn't mean I win. Doesn't work like that, bud. Ramming speed. Black, engage. Minimal damage done, he's gonna rack me here. Uh, this is the end, I think. If my guys don't hurry up and kill him, nah, I'm down. Ships that he's in. Oh, the Smay. Oh, the upgraded one. Anyway. The uh, Morning Star, I believe. But he had a different camo and all. Is that, how is that possible? Unless I can actually just attach said parts to the normal Smay and just try to customize them that way. That would be pretty cool, actually. So, uh, hello. Hello, little fella. Thought I wasn't going to see you, didn't you? This is not the case, though. I saw you. And I'm angry at you, so you might want to bugger off real quick. Sharpest, there we go. Nah, you're going to die. Too late for you. Behind enemy lines isn't a good place to be, guys, even in a massive... Massive, massive, heavily armed warship. Heavily armed and armoured. Oh, look, Nostradamus in this game. Hmm. His team's he on. I mean, he's got two deaths. I would have thought he would have seen them coming. But I'm just... Reloading 
Oh well, shit, no, I don't like him. So you're going to die, I don't like you. That means you have to die, sorry, but. Later, alligator. Space. Alligator. Who's that guy again? Unleash. Unleashed. Unleash uh, the VK. Leave it to we'll get there in the end. What's this dude doing? Oh, we got a Radish. Sorry, Badish. <laughs> Badish. Badish. Just whatever the fuck his name is trying to kill me. Let's just show him the terrible wrongdoings that he is committing this day. Do not attempt to kill your Emperor. What are you? Retarded? There is a massive difference in our power levels. As soon as that shield's gone, he is just going to completely cripple himself and die. What did I say himself? Sorry, I'm going to do it to him. There we go, he's crippled. It's a very enjoyable ship. It's a very powerful ship. Like you saw me a, a couple of times there that I totally did on purpose getting behind the enemy lines. That again, I did, in purpose. I did that totally on purpose. You don't really want to do that. You want to be able to get into a position where you're with your allies and able to fire upon the enemy uh, with support, which is kind of the way this game works anyway you stick as a team you're going to win it's kind of just the end all be all of winning this game hmm but it, it is nice it is a nice ship i mean eight kills three deaths top of the board again i had to say it would be down to this ship more so than me because i suck very very much so i mean just look at it it looks awesome really really does it's just such a cool ship so there you go guys i hope you've um, enjoyed this i of course will be covering more ships in dreadnought as well as our beloved fractured space not to forget that game so if you enjoyed this then i don't know do what you want i believe you can like videos and subscribe i suppose or you could donate at the link below which i kind of appreciate somewhat so yeah, thank you all very much for watching, and of course, as always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.